Hi, welcome back to AWE USA 2023. I'm here with Keiichi Masuda, director of Liquid City, and we're here at the Niantic Lounge. We're very close to it. Niantic has done lots of cool stuff, and one of them is Wall. <laughs> so tell us more about Wall. What is Wall? Yeah, Wall is an AI agent. It's the first AI agent we've built. Um, and, and the superstar of the show. It's the superstar <laughs> yeah, of I heard. the show. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's talking about Wall. Don't you know about Wall already? Yeah, yeah. Now um, no. Yeah, Wall is a, a kind of experiment around XR and AI together and how we can use it for personalized education. So Wall is a teacher about the Redwood Forest here in California. And when you put on a headset or use your phone, your room is going to transform into the perfect learning environment. And you'll be able to ask Wall any question. It could be very simple, it could be very complex. If you're like a, a novice or if you're an expert in the forest, either way, Wall will have an answer that's specialized and personalized to you. You can also ask it anything, really, but it will always try and teach you. So we're very interested in the possibilities for personalized education and what you can do with character AI uh, to make something that really feels approachable, easy to use, and anyone can enjoy. Okay, so what kind of headset uh, can you wear to meet uh, Wall? Yeah, well here uh, we're exhibiting on Quest Pro okay. using their own, uh, the new color pass-through. Um, but because this experience is built on 8th Wall, it's a WebXR experience, so theoretically it can run on any headset that has a WebXR browser. Uh, and that applies to phones as well. So this is the big advantage of 8th Wall, is that you don't need to download or install anything. You just go to meetwall.com and you can start chatting with yeah. an owl in minutes, seconds. Okay. So um, can I also ask questions that have nothing to do with Redwood Forest? You can absolutely, but Wall will always answer from its perspective as an owl. <laughs> so uh, okay. you, know, you can find, but Wall has a lot of good jokes, a lot of bad jokes, and okay. uh, because it's AI, those jokes are not written by us. They're always new every time. Uh, so it has a very strong and interesting personality. And yeah, I highly recommend you check out Wall and okay. <laughs> ask it about its life, its uh, favorite foods, right. you know, all of those different kind of things. You can ask anything. So. It's not just people here can check it out, everyone can check it out by going to wall. Yeah, meetwall.com. Meet, yeah. Meetwall.com, you can check it out yourself. Cool. Yeah. So um, what is your role in wall? Yeah, so I'm the director of Liquid City. We're a small design studio based in London. We led on concept and development for the, the project and it was a tight collaboration between us and Niantic. Okay. Uh, so we worked very closely and also worked with uh, uh, eighth wall to, to make the, uh, the the platform work in AR uh, and also in world.ai in world they're a company who do the the character AI so we uh, program the the knowledge of all of the the things that one knows about we talk about you know the kind of speaking style of how it should sound uh, and then the kind of magic of AI allows us to be able to create this character that really feels alive cool really nice and um, you also told me about some other projects yeah yeah t tell me more about these yeah, so we also have a game uh, called Overbeast, which is an AR location-based game where you have an enormous monster and there's one of them that lives in each state in the US. So everybody who lives in that state is going to be uh, working together to feed it, to make it stronger, and then it's going to battle against uh, uh, monsters from other states. You have um, to go outside to play this game? You don't have to. Uh, there is a persistent <laughs> grid that exists everywhere in the world. Okay. So you can make one in your home. Like You can plant trees around your home. You can collect resources from them. And then you can look up into the sky, uh, wherever you see a blue sky, or any color sky. Yeah, uh, right. We're from London, so we don't often see a blue sky. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> been there too. Uh, and, uh, uh, yeah. and, and so, yeah, you can go outside. I think it's, it's, it feels much better when you can go around and, right. and walk around and feel active. And, you know, for us, it's very interesting to think about these persistent layers of reality that are going to be all around us in the future. And so Overbeast is kind of a version of that. You know, it's mm -hmm. a collaborative gameplay, persistent grid, and, uh, you know, giant kaiju battles. So you can check that, that out. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, That's check it out. Um, over, what's the name again? Overbeast. Overbeast. Yeah. You, can, you can get it on the App Store, iOS and Android in the U.S. If you're outside of the US, you can join our test flight and become a tester. Uh, right. If you go to overbeast.world, you can find everything you need to, to join and watch the trailer. Okay, that sounds cool. It sounds like it would also be a great mixed reality game for, for an, any headset. Well, right? well, what do you funny think about you that? Say that? Yeah, it's funny <laughs> you say that. Obviously, you know, like the, 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 the kind of work that we're doing here on smartphones, it's really great. You, know, yeah. you can see this thing in your world, but to be able to see it with your own eyes yeah, without exactly. anything in your, yeah, in, right. your, in your hand, that would be the ideal. So, you know, we're really thinking about what's gaming going to be, you know, right. what, 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 which direction are we going to go in and what can we do with AR, like headset or wearable that you can't do 
with other other right. kind of format, right? And I don't think anyone really knows what like a true AR first game looks like at the moment. There are very few examples. I think Niantic have definitely led the way, uh, and right. I think their recent game Paradot is a really great example of a game that really embraces the technology. But often, like AR can feel like an add-on. So right. from our perspective with Overbeast, we wanted to do something that felt truly next generation and uh, really allowed us to push the boundary of what's possible with gaming. Right, cool. So I understand that right now it makes more sense with a smartphone because everyone has one. When do you expect to, uh, we have the, the install base of en enough um, AR headsets that you're going to uh, push these kind of games to AR headsets? You know, Liquid City, we're working on prototyping with emerging technologies a lot. So, you know, we always want to look at what the next thing is. So, I think, you know, by the time AR becomes fully mainstream and everyone's walking around in their headsets. When do you think this is going to be? Yeah, we're going to be working on something else by then. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Yeah, but I think, you know, we're all very excited about the possibilities okay. of those devices. And so, you know, for us, it's uh, just a matter of, you know, being able to, to, to build a proof of concept, to show people what's possible, right. and hopefully it generates enough excitement, you know? Yeah. Well, you did uh, generate lots of excitement with this interview. Thank you so much, you Keshi so Masuda, right, for care. telling us everything about what you're doing. Great, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so check it out yourself. First of all, you can check out Wall, right? Meetwall.com and Overbeast.world. Overbeast.world. Check out what um, yeah, Keshi is working on. Hope you enjoyed this interview here from AWE 2023. That's everything for now. Looking forward to see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.